Hi, welcome back to Live and Breathe Horses and our little mini-series of the foundations of horsemanship, the things I believe to be important. And today we're going to talk about responsibility. Um, I love when horsemanship and life, you know, it's the same thing. And taking radical personal responsibility is the only way to really grow and become all we can be in life. And I think in our horsemanship, it's also very important on so many different levels. Even just the word responsibility, when you break it down, responsibility. So we have the ability to respond. So it's the thing about taking that uh, pause and that space between stimulus and reaction especially when something happens with the horse and we might automatically, you know, kick off and react rather than respond. So, um, I mean, the horses also do it and it's an important thing to teach them to have that uh, space to consider before they um, kick off whatever it might be, you know, if they have their trauma or their thing. But in ourselves, um, on, on a personal level, for me, you know, it's very much about whatever is happening on that moment with the horse, I am responsible for that, to do the best I can on that moment. And it's very easy to say, oh, well, it's because of something that happened to the horse before, it's an old trainer, an old rider, it's a bad experience. And maybe it is, but that doesn't help. What helps is taking full responsibility, owning the moment, and I mean it's always a learning opportunity when it's not going well, and it's nice to actually <laughs> have the self-compassion to give ourselves a pat on the back and take full responsibility for it when it is going well. So our ability to respond, and it's, I think it's much more about responding to our own uh, personal mind, monkey mind, overthinking, ego, whatever you want to call it, than it is really about the horse. So um, that's something to just, you know, just take a look and be honest with ourselves about that, where we're at, what's going on, and when we dare to look at that and take responsibility, there are the most valuable learnings and things that we'll look back on and remember. Oh God, remember when that happened, but I owned it and I learned from it. You know, it's the thing they always say, uh, you know, those worst things are always the best funny stories later on. So yeah, taking responsibility. That's the other, for me, very important foundation. Because when we don't do that, we, you know, we just stop our progress, really. And uh, like I said, if it's somebody else's fault, it's not um, helpful. It's really not helpful on, on the moment for the horse. You know, they don't have those thoughts about that. So how can we respond um, to the best of our ability on that moment and whatever it is that's going on, own it. <laughs> so thank you for listening today. Um, we're going to go on with our little mini series of foundation beliefs of mine. Um, a lot of which are general things. I mean, I'm, these are not my things. It's, it's things I've learned. Um, and there, a lot of them are old principles, but it's my um, take, my way of seeing these things. So I hope it makes sense to you. I'd love to hear from you, your experiences around that, and how these horsemanship things reflect back on life. So next time we're going to have a look at stillness. Thank you for joining me today.